five, four, three, two, one. Faster. Baby. Hello, this is... Lights, camera, super, super action. action. She is... Claudia. Also known as Kali, and I am... He's Victor. And tonight, we're celebrating Kali's birthday. Yay! And as part of her birthday celebration, we are watching... The, the Marvels. in IMAX. IMAX. Yes, we are gonna tell you our reactions after the movie. Yes, when we reach our sanctum sanctorum, our secret headquarters. Our bat cave. Yes, indeed. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay. One hour and 45 minutes later, we, we are, are back. back. And we just saw The Marvels. The Marvels. <laughs> what are your first impressions? You first because you picked that movie among your 12 most anticipated movies of this year. So, did I? you first. Yes, you did. <laughs> I. I would like to apologize to our audience for choosing this movie as one of my most anticipated. Hell no! I love this movie. Oh no! <laughs> no. I love. Now you're making the sense. <laughs> Marvels! I loved it so much, and we have to see it again. Oh yes, definitely. We gotta. I uh, I'm a, a little bit surprised. Uh, there are, there were things that I was worried about. I was worried about the length of the movie, only one hour and 45 minutes long. But I love what uh, director Nia da Costa did. What, uh, her, her pacing was snappy, punchy, it worked, it just worked. I liked Captain Marvel, a lot of people didn't, even though it made a billion dollars. But they complained that Brie Larson was, was too cold, too aloof. Some of, them, some of them didn't understand that the Kree was doing a number on her. They had leached out her memories and then they were trying to expunge her emotions. Mm -hmm. But here, her memories are not back yet. She's working on it. But her emotions are back. And we find out that the mighty Captain Marvel has a lot of regrets guilty trips, and uh, loneliness. Yes. I mean, she's alone in space with a cat all day. With a kind of, kind of a cat. Oh, it's a flirking. With a flirking <laughs> cat. Yeah. And, uh, Messing with her buttons and <laughs> controls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's so cute. I love this movie, but before I go on, I would like to hear your first impressions. Well, I also love the movie more than I expected because I know I was gonna like it. I mean, if I loved Captain Marvel, the first movie, of course, I know I was gonna like this, the second one, the Marvels. Sequ uh, the sequel. But I really loved it. It exceeded my expectations. I mean, the chemistry between Carol Danvers, Kamala Khan, and uh, Monica Rambeau was perfect. 
it was beautiful. <laughs> Carol Danvers, she's still working on herself. And Kamala Khan, she's the key in helping her show a little bit more of her emotions. It also happened with Monica Rambo. I mean, Monica and Carol have not been on speaking terms for years. And Carol expects uh, Monica to be... Lieutenant Trouble. I mean, Lieutenant Trouble, shining happy. Shining. Monica's response was a great one. That's not how family works. And Kamala Khan emphasizes on that um, by hugging, by listening to, to what they have to say and show them understanding, show them what family is, show them what love is. And that makes a great chemistry between the three. I love that. I think that Iman Bulani is a ray of sunshine in this movie. Oh, definitely. She steals the show. <laughs> she, she does steal the show. I She's agree. amazing. And the Flurkins! The Flurkins play a very important part of the movie, although they are cute and dangerous at the same time. Yeah. They're Flirt kittens. They're so cute. And there's so many. Oh my gosh. I don't know how Nick Fury dealt with all those flirt kittens <laughs> they're so cute i mean i love that scene and what else do you want to add there's a villain mm, yeah the there's villain's not quite convincing but her motivations are sound i think she might have used a couple more minutes of to show her background a little bit Critics always say that Marvel has a villain problem for for uh, characters not named Thanos, Loki, or Hela, and they're right. But this is a story about mothers and daughters, aunts and uh, nieces, because Monica Rambeau, like you said, she's estranged. She is angry at Carol for for leaving her behind mm -hmm. and for not looking after her mother but she did she doesn't know that she did she mm -hmm. should when her mother she, her mother was sick but I'm not going to spoil it I'm amazed that more women have not gone to see this yet 65% of the of the weekend audience were male and there's a lot for women to sympathize with mm -hmm. I mean, they have a problem. Their, their powers are entangled. Whenever they use their powers, they switch places. So all three have to learn how to cope with this handicap, how they practice using their powers in the same place. They have to be in the same place. It's really funny. It's really uh, creative. It's sweet. It's, uh, I mean, they jump rope. They, they walk with a book on top of their head. Oh, they they play balls. balls. And, and they even they even throw popcorns in the mouth of, of each other. Well, 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 they throw popcorn and they switch and it falls on the mouth of oh, another one. Oh, exactly. It's, uh, it's fun. This movie is so much fun. <laughs> yes. Um, one of the things I was really worried, and it worked nicely, is the musical planet i thought it was gonna be cheesy or strawberry shortcake style or but no was it was very it nice too. it was very theatrical yeah it was beautiful it was surprising it, it was surprising and it, and it was like um the song is like contagious carnival style you know <laughs> a little bit bombastic and i liked it very much even kamala khan was having oh, fun she, was having a blast. <laughs> she thought she was in a party or something and the curious thing about this planet is that the only one that actually speaks is the prince the rest of the population just speaks in songs <laughs> so imagine 
the face of Kamala Khan and Monica Rambo when they reached to that planet and they see that Carol Danvers is, is being treated as a princess. <laughs> it's exactly. like, what just happened here? But it was beautiful. It was a Disney princess scene, but as I said, it's not pinky, it's not corny, it is beautiful, it's artistic, and it's very colorful. And I like Park Soo Jung, I mean, he has a nice voice, he has a nice present, and he's a good actor. I like his, I like his part. And the thing with this scene is that it's brief, it doesn't take too long. Yeah, and it has this nice chemistry with Brie Larson. He does. And their duet is very nice. I liked it very much. Another thing I need to add is that I'm not sure about the villain. I know she had her motivations and everything. She was, she was just helping her planet. But some of the scenes just um, they lacked passion, especially the first scene. Uh, she seemed to be like cut on herself. She seemed to be like she had. She even had a low tone of voice, and she didn't show she was angry because she couldn't find the other bracelet. If I were her, I would have worked out more that scene. Maybe. Mm. Because I don't know, it was quite lame. And if you are going to introduce a new villain, please start on the right foot. I, I don't know. Uh, I didn't love her. You know, there were scenes in which she was bad, great, man. but uh, I, the last scene was good. Yeah, I know it was good. It was good. I mean, I. I'm not saying that she was horrible, that she was a bad actress. She was not excellent. She, she, like you said, she's not Hela, she's not Thanos, she's not Loki. For okay. the story, she served the story fine. Yeah. But the story is really about these three uh, heroes. And uh, I would add to that uh, Zenobia Shroff, who plays uh, Kamal Khan's mom. Yeah. She was, she's amazing. When she <laughs> fights, adorable. when she fights with fury, I love it. I love it. She, she's so cool. Nick Fury was uh, was having this funny scare. <laughs> it's like if Kamala Khan doesn't return to his, to to her parents, I mean, her mother's gonna kill me. You know, it was funny. It was she really was driving funny. him crazy. <laughs> yeah. Actually, do you know what we almost forgot to mention? The fight scenes. Oh my God, yes. They are dynamic, hard-hitting, and cleverly choreographed. Beautifully photographed, too. Also, there are a few surprises, which are great. There's one post credit scene that is mind-blowing. Mid-credits. Oh, it's mid-credits. Yes, mid-credits. You're right. Uh, you're gonna love it. <laughs> oh. No, it's going to blow your mind. Wow. It, <laughs> it blew my <laughs> So please check it out. And the end of the movie, there's a. It feels like an extra scene because it doesn't. It has something to do with one of the characters yes. we've been following. Yeah. But she's meeting someone else. Yeah. And uh, and it's uh, we're very happy with yes. both. With both scenes. <laughs> yes. You got anything else to say or to ask me? Yes. Um, I, I want to. I wanted to ask you if do you think that WandaVision and Miss Marvel were required viewing before watching the movie? Not quite, uh, because the movie explains certain situations, scenes, characters that are in Miss Marvel and in WandaVision, they explain it so well, you don't have to watch Miss Marvel and uh, WandaVision. If you want to see them, 
They're great. They're both great. Uh, I recommend them 100%. There are certain details that, yeah, they're shown in the movie that doesn't need an explanation. I mean, uh, the first scene in which you see Kamala Khan studying science, right. she was drawing <laughs> a, comic book. a comic book about her hero. <laughs> Well, she was meeting her hero. Yeah. They gave a close-up, more or less, of two picture frames. One of the pictures is Kamala Khan, and the other picture is a boy. If you haven't watched Miss Marvel, you will not know who he is and doesn't need an explanation in the movie. It's not necessary. But if you saw Miss Marvel... He is you know Kamala house. Khan's best friend, Bruno. Mm -hmm. And he's a sweetheart. I mean, he he helps her in so many ways, in technology, in he's her a, history, a history background, <laughs> in science, and everything. I mean, he's Was the best. Was that a picture Kamala? I thought yes. it was Nakia. No, it's Kamala. Was it? Okay. It's Kamala. Right. Uh, I mean, I think it's Kamala. I don't know. We have we gotta watch it again. <laughs> we gotta watch the movie again. We should. <laughs> yes. Also, um, Monica Rambo, she explains in the movie how she acquired her powers. Because we had met Monica in, in Captain Marvel. Yeah, time. when she was uh, when she was she a little, little girl. But in WandaVision, uh, Monica's all grown up. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, she didn't have any powers. And in the series WandaVision, it shows how she acquired those powers. Correct. But in the movie The Marvel, she just explains it. Correct. Uh, mm -hmm. and, so, and, that, and that's enough. And that's more than enough. So yeah, details like that, but no, you don't. You don't need to see Miss Marvel and Wanda Vision to. You don't. But if you do, if you want to see them, please do. Wanda Vision is top-notch Marvel. Yes. As good as as the best movies, or even better. Like yes. Wanda Vision is a lot, a lot better than Doctor Strange. In the multiverse of madness, for instance. Yes, yes. And uh, and the Marvels is better than that, and it's better also than Thor: Love and Thunder. Yes, definitely. And Ant-Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania. Yes. But the last scene. The one in New York City. The one in New York City. A character shows up that is in the Disney Plus streaming series, Hawkeye. You have to see Hawkeye, especially now that we are close to Christmas. Yes, Hawkeye yes. is... Uh, I love Hawkeye. Yes. It's funny that I say that because I didn't like Hawkeye. <laughs> in, uh, he, well, yeah. <laughs> I didn't like him in the Avengers or Avengers Age of Ultron. But I love him as a mentor in Hawkeye, the, the, the streaming series. Yes. And, uh, yeah, you it's, gotta see that. You gotta see and that. And it's a it adapts... Uh, North American Christmas traditions and it's oh and it also introduces another character uh, named Echo that is true and she will show up in a Disney Plus series Echo in January yes uh, by her name so do you recommend this movie um, The Marvels I, I can already say that the, the Marvels is going to be in my top 12 at the end of the year I might do the same thing. Let's see. <laughs> so, so please give this movie a chance. You're going to like it more than you could ever expect. Okay? It's really great. It's 10 thumbs up. I only have two, but if I will have if if I had 10 thumbs, I would just raise the bar. So, yes. Subscribe to our channel, Lights, Camera, Super, Action on YouTube. Hit the like button. Share our videos with everybody. Hit the bell button. That bell. <laughs> so 
that you can receive the notifications every time we upload a new video. We are also on Facebook, Threads, and -na 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 no, and the, X. Instagram <laughs> service, formerly known as, as Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> so, this was Light Camera Super Action. See you next time. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>